knocking a bloke to the ground. Did you see that? Oh, I know him. I've been in meetings with him. Are you joking? No, I know him. He What's was he a, called? He's called um, Mike Ainsbury. Mike Ainsbury, yeah, yeah. He's, Who's, who is he the MP for? MP for, it's like St. Hel Runcorn. Really? Runcorn, St. Yeah. Helens. It's near Liverpool, Warrington yeah. Way, down there yeah. somewhere. He was a, he was a Withenshaw Man Manchester City Councillor. Right. When I worked at the council 20 years ago. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, one of my crap jobs was um, I took every month or two, every month, there was a senior meeting of all the top councillors, 10 of them, um, and to, to, to discuss crime. And because I was middle management, I had to go and take the minutes of that meeting. Oh, I see. Um, so I was on like 35 grand a year to sit in a meeting and write notes. It's mm. like, that's how much mm. the used quality staff there. And he was one of the, he was one of the top counselors. I forgot what he was in charge of at the time. And then when I left and took redundancy and set a charity up, I emailed him, uh, cause I think he was in charge of children's services or something. And cause my charities work with young people, I asked for a meeting saying, this is what I'm doing now that I've left the council and stuff like that. And um, he kindly invited me and sat down, listened to my charity and stuff like that, which was amazing because you wouldn't get anyone um, letting anyone, to, only because I knew him through these meetings. Um, he seemed a nice enough guy. But this story broke on Friday evening. Mm. He, this is what it looks like. So all you see in the CCTV, CCTV footage. Well, initially you see a film on a camera, wasn't it? Yes. On a phone camera. That's, that's what, what I, you saw first. That's what I saw originally. And, and he was just hassling some guy on the ground. Yes, shouting at him and um, stuff like that. And straight away I went, we've not seen all the footage. Mm, it's like the um, Rebel, Yeah, <laughs> you know, they're saying that he's punched him to the floor, but maybe he did, but, but he's an MP, maybe he's protecting himself. Mm, you know, yeah, defending himself. I just don't know. But then the CCTV outside the shop captured the whole street. Yeah. Um, and again, you don't see all of it, you know. You just you see, see most of it because yeah. the guy's just literally well, standing there. Yeah, you see two seconds before he's punched. Yeah. That's all you see is two seconds before this guy's punched. But the MP and this guy's talking. The guy who's not the MP has got his hands in his pockets, he's stood yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's no moving. No threatening there's, movement. No, no, no there's nothing yeah. like that. And all of a sudden the MP punches him in the face and knocks yeah. him to the floor. But really aggressively as well. Yeah, really and, then, and then carries on punching him while he's on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like, I'd like to see the 10, 15 seconds before that to make sure he'd not jumped on him first and then jumps off him and then get, so I still want to see a bit I, more I would suggest given the stance of that guy, yeah. the fact he was actually stuck lower down than him, yeah. I don't think there'd been any previous Well, I don't think there is because he's now had the Labour whip removed from him, yeah. but, he's been, but they've let him keep his knuckle dusters. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, that's my attempt at a joke. Your joke yeah. Um, but if yeah, you could, if you could just let our viewers know when the joke <laughs> is coming, so they can prepare themselves. Yeah, yeah so it's lost a labour whip. Um, it's now a criminal incident. So please look yeah. into it. and it looks horrific. And I thought this is the quality of them, the, mm. the people we voted into power yeah. here. He sounded drunk on the first video. Was on someone's phone, and you could, he was shouting at the guy, and yeah. he's slurring, and he sounded drunk. Yeah, but even if you're drunk, oh no, it's not. I'm just saying. I, I, I wouldn't yeah. do that even if I was drunk. Mm. I, you don't attack. It's a very dangerous thing to hit a man like that in the head when he's stationary like that, when he's not prepared, yeah. because that's how you get brain damage. You go to the fault of the, the number of times you hear about people being hit in the, like that, falling over, hitting the head and dying. I saw a man do that. Oh, really? I that? worked in a pub in Man City Centre called the Mulder's Arms. It's gone now. It was behind Piccadilly train station. Uh, I was about 20, something like that. Uh, it was heavily used by post office men because there was a post office depot next door and I was always serving the same guys one afternoon I'm sat there they've all finished shift and two guys I knew having a bit of an argument one was about 50 one's about 25 and then you know, they shout at each other yeah it's like should was we go arguing over postal things. no that was whatever I can't remember that yeah. but one said to them should we go outside and sort this out I said yeah let's go outside so both got up free will walked outside and uh, stood in the street and the younger one was quicker. Punched him once, and I walked through the window, punched him once, he fell backwards, hit his head, corner of the paving, uh, died instantly. Oh my God. Yeah. What happened to that guy, the 25 year old? Vested for murder, uh, dropped to manslaughter, um, and I didn't follow the court. He went to prison, presumably? I wouldn't imagine so, no.
You don't think he went to prison? I wouldn't imagine. I'd be manslaughter. It'd be an accident. Both men went outside to have a fight. Yeah. And he fell backwards and smashed his head on the thing. So I, I, I wouldn't imagine he went to prison for that. Did you enjoy that video? I think he did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.